Well, welcome, intercessors and prayer partners of our ministry. We are so glad that you joined us. Um, that Thank you. Responded. you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, we, feel, we feel so blessed. We feel extremely blessed. And as I very know, honored. Yeah, very honored that you can't do life without prayer. It doesn't happen. And so um, prayer changes things. And so uh, we are so glad that you're partnered with us. And um, we just want to give you a, a whole bunch of prayer points like we said we would. So this is video number one. And I um, just want to give you an update and, uh, and tell you where we're at. Well, first, Kelly is going to talk about... Uh, well, every child is a gem. So I have an association um, in France and in the United States called Every Child is a Gem. Um, but this project is called Gym 58. And why? Because uh, the original diamond, the round one, um, when it gets cut out of, the, out of the raw stone, it has 58 facets. And the 58 facets will shine the light differently than any other three facets. And so what we want to do is we want to um, bring life to these people that are going to come our way and let God's light shine through them very uniquely and very beautifully. Like become so. the beautiful gem they were called to be. That's it, that's it. So, um, a couple testimony, well, I have testimonies. This past week, we, it's just amazing to see what God is doing. It's like he's doing it. And um, he, you know, just um, brought us um, four different people over the past 10 days that are probably going to be part of our training program. So we're still waiting for um, for confirmation from them, but it was just extraordinary to see and to yeah. hear how miraculously they are tied in to the subject, to the cooking, to the passion about people, and it's it's, just, it's a miracle. It's yeah. really a miracle, and it's really what I think is is so beautiful about this project, which I really haven't, I've heard people talk about it, but never experienced it in this measure myself, is that this is God's dream. We're mm -hmm. actually, we are just stewarding what God has put in our hearts, which is what is his heart. And he is bringing the people. We're not, we're not necessarily uh, calling and will you come and this time frame and no, no, God is putting on people's heart to be part of our team and of training and uh, and doing the cooking and all that kind of stuff and um, it is it is mind-boggling it is it blows me away just God yeah. is in the details yeah, God's in the details just so beautiful we have like so many testimonies um, we probably need to write a book about it but well they keep telling us so we might just do that <laughs> anyways so let us give you a couple of prayer points and they will be also listed in the email below so you don't have to watch our video over and over but you could if you really want to see yeah, us right. again <laughs> but anyways um, thank you again so here we go so a um, couple dates september 8th um is going to be the decision of the judge following the hearing that happened on july 7th thank you everybody for praying um and the division or the um receiving some of the liquid assets that belong to me so the judge will make a decision on september 8th and we are praying that it will be all liquid assets that belong to me and that it will come through quickly so that we can use it to purchase the house secondly the date of october 1st is crucial for actually two reasons the first reason is that um, in the division of the assets, there's two pieces of real estate. There is a studio in Paris that used to be my dance exercise studio. And that piece of real estate is supposed to be coming to me. So right now I have um, management over it. And we have had it rented out for the past two years since I could no longer physically do classes and work in it. Um, and that has been a huge blessing. Um, and it's actually our only income right now. Yeah. 
but the current renter has called and told to say no longer they're not going to to renew, renew the rent uh, renew the lease um starting october 1st so it's a big prayer point we need a new renter we do actually have um, one person that's interested possibly possibly who would like to rent it as an apostolic ministry hub which would make me so happy that the studio Absolutely. would go to that because it was always a ministry hub for me so that's just a prayer point. And then the second, October 1st, is well, that we are hoping that we're going to move to the to the property on the chateau. So um, we have been feeling as we prayed and as we thought about timing of everything that the 1st of October probably would be the earliest date that we could move on the property. Um, what needs to happen with that? is that uh, we're going to write up a promissory note, as they say in the States, or a compromis de bon in French. And uh, did you hear I'm talking French, honey? Well, that's a whole different subject. Let's not go there right now. Anyways, um, so we do need the uh, 50000 for that uh, promissory note to become active and make the, the, the first official document in acquiring the property. And so that's a that's a prayer point for us as well. And once we do sign um, the promiss prom promissory note or compromis de vente, um, the owner has agreed to that we could write up a contract and actually move onto the property and start taking care of the grounds, because right now she's has to hire a. Um, a gardener every week to come in and take care of the grounds because there's nobody living actually in the in on the property so that's something that both sides are interested in happening and and with that uh, a prayer point is too that um, there is not a lawnmower well <laughs> there is a lawnmower it's over 40 years old and um, we actually should maybe make a tractor lawnmower museum and maybe charge for it as a ways of income that could maybe work maybe not but anyways we want to um, we need to take care of it but we also need to uh, purchase another lawnmower to um, mow the four hectare 10 acres of lawn and forest and park um, all around so we found one that is we feel will fit the job mm -hmm. and will be a long will be an investment into the future and taking care of the property correctly and uh, it's a toro and it costs 12,000 uh, euros so that would be uh, another a, prayer another prayer point right um, but then we also want to do the yes so we want to so we also need prayer for wisdom so wisdom and how to set up the structure of the organization all the different aspects of um, purchasing the property, having the association, having business business uh, um, opportunities. So um, just the legal aspect, the foundational. We want to really start well and have a good foundation. Yeah, and it's it's really about you know setting it up correctly and getting the right tax advantages that we can maximize that and so we pay the least amount of taxes um, and you can do that smartly by different organizations and who does what and so forth so um, and, and one of our one of our goals is really to become um, financially independent uh, sustainable so that our program our training program can be funded by the different like businesses that we have in mind to do alongside um, the training program yep. so yep. We need to be set up right for that. So wisdom. wisdom. And then once we move, we have a couple of different priorities. A lot of them. Actually, there's a thousand priorities, it seems okay. like. But we have to start with a few. We have to start with a few. And uh, of course, we're going to take care of the grounds first. But then where are we going to live? Where are Kelly and John going to move to? So we're going to move to the ground floor on the left side of the chateau. And there is now two big offices and we're going to make that into a bedroom, bathroom and a kitchen. And then the living room will just stay the way it is, but just um, transform that so we can live there. Um, 
then there is the, the kitchen itself. The kitchen will be the, the cooking classes that we'll be doing and that will be coming out of that and we're going to kind of rip some walls out and redo all that so that's functional but that's also it's functional for for training but it's also functional for the events that we want to do um, in the future in food service so um, to pay for the for all of it um, another thing would be the heating system the heating system is in dire needs of um, replacing and so when we have a bunch of options um, that we're looking at that's a little farther out um, but for the meantime if we do not get that figured out right away then we will just get two wood stoves and put one in the kitchen in the big kitchen and one in our um, living room and that will be then sufficient for us to at least go through the winter I hope and um, that and big sweaters big sweaters <laughs> big sweaters um, so, so I think that's um, pretty much we it. just want to thank you again for agreeing to be part of our prayer partners um, we'd also like to just uh, reiterate to thank you to not share any of these videos yeah. or any of these subjects yeah. um, or prayer points with anything and keep everything about um, gym 58 confidential and if you do have any um, anything that you receive in prayer, please like send us yeah. an email, send us a text, and we can share it with the rest of the team. That would be great. Yeah, that would be a great encouragement. You're already a huge encouragement, but if you if you receive anything from the Lord and you pass that on to us, that would be a huge encouragement to us and see how God confirms and how God just guides us forward every step of the way. And we will let you know all the um, praise reports and uh, answers to prayers that we get in the weeks to come. So um, yeah, we look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you again for being part of mm -hmm. us and what God's doing here. Thank you. We, we love, love you guys. You all. Bye. Ciao.